Hi, I'm Kat from Crazy Cabbage and today I'll be showing you how to work the diamond stitch in the round. To demonstrate I'll be making this diamond stitch cuff but you could make uh, any size piece with these instructions. This video tutorial can be used to help you make the diamonds and my um, linked hearts and diamonds messy bun hat beanie pattern and there's also this infinity scarf too. Um, these are both free patterns and they are available on my website. Um, I'll put a link in the video info below. Since I made my last video tutorial I've invested in a photo studio and lighting kit so hopefully you'll find this video tutorial better than my previous videos. Also, if you're interested in getting any equipment like this, I'll leave a link in the video and for below. Please like this video and subscribe and leave me comments, give me some feedback, tell me what you think, anything you'd like to see me do a tutorial on. If you are crocheting along with this video, you will need to use your pause button. Um, you might also like to use the rewind to watch any parts again. So the diamond stitch is a four stitch repeat. Um, in this video we'll be starting out by making the foundation chain and then we do a row of single crochets then a row of double and then we start to make the clusters. For my sample piece I'll be starting out by chaining 24 but you can chain any multiple of four that you like. Anyway, let's get started. Start by making a slip knot. I'm going to chain 24. It's four. It's eight. 12, 16, it's 20, and 24. And then being careful not to twist the chain, I'm going to slip stitch to join in this first chain and then I'm going to be working along the bottom side of it so I just find that first chain there hook in there slip stitch and chain one to count as the first single crochet and now we're going to single crochet in each of these chains so we have one two three, and four, should be looking like this so if you want to hit pause and continue. So when you have 24 we're going to slip stitch to join so check that this is not twisted. So this was the first chain where you slip stitched. The first single crochet is over here, so that's where we're going to be going into. So just into there, look. And just pop your hook in and make that slip stitch to join. And you should have a ring like this. So next we chain two. This counts as the first double crochet. Let's find this next stitch here. Double crochet in there. And the next one, double crochet in there. So that's three now. So you're going to pop a double crochet in each one around. Count to 24 again. When you have 24 double crochets, find this first double crochet, 
we're just going to slip stitch to join in the top of that like that and then we chain one to count as the first single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch okay now we're going to do this cluster stitch so first we've got to find where we need to put it so if you can see you're in this gap here and you're going to count back two double crochets so there's one and there's two and then on the row below the single crochets row you want to find the one that's in the gap behind that second one and we're going to be working along around that so just keep your finger on it for now so we're going to do a treble crochet so it's yarn over twice and then it's a front post around that single crochet there yarn over pull through yarn over through two loops yarn over through two loops two loops left on the hook and then we go back and we look at the stitch that we're in here two double crochets in front there find the single crochet that's in front of that second there and then we're going to do the other part of this treble crochet so it's yarn over twice so front post around that single crochet yarn over pull through yarn over through two loops yarn over through two loops three loops left on the hook and then to complete the cluster it's yarn over and pull through all three loops on that hook and then you should have this big V shape here so this is the stitch we're in here um, some people that do diamond stitch they seem to want to skip the next stitch but I don't like skipping so instead I like to do a single crochet two together so into this next one here insert your hook just yarn over pull through hook into the next one yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops to make that single crochet two together stitch and now we're going to move along to the next one so single crochet in each of the next two so that's one and there's two and now we're ready to do this cluster again so we're just going to check where we're at so we're in this stitch here and then if you count back the two double crochets this um, previous treble crochet cluster is around that post there so we're just going to work around that same post again so we yarn over twice and go around that same single crochet there yarn over pull through yarn over three two loops yarn over three two loops two loops left on the hook go back and find the stitch that you're in here count forward two and the single crochet on the row below that's where we're going to work, put your finger on that yarn over twice and then around that front post again yarn over, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops three loops left on the hook and then yarn over and pull through all three loops to complete that cluster and then find the stitch that you were working in here hook into the next one and this is a single crochet two together so hook into the next one as well three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three and single crochet in each of the next two
Then yarn over twice, hook around that same posta, pull through, three two loops, through another two loops, two loops on the hook, count forward two, find that single crochet there, yarn over twice and go around that post. Three, two, three, two, two loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through all three. Find this next stitch, single crochet two together, and single crochet in each of the next two. So if you want to hit pause or you can rewind and watch again and then I'll show you how to finish up. So now I'm coming up to the end of my row here, um, I'm ready to do my last cluster. So here's the point where we are here, you've just got to check, count forward two and that should be the point where this first one was. So yarn over twice. Hook around the previous one, make the first part of the cluster, yarn over twice, and I'm just going to go in above that and make the second part of the cluster and complete it. And then single crochet two together. Find the first single crochet, slip stitch to join in the top to complete the round. So the next round we're going to double crochet in each one around. So start by chaining two. Counts as the first double crochet into this next stitch, double crochet and then just continue working a double crochet into each stitch all the way around and count your stitches as well, check you're maintaining the same number so I'll be counting to 24 so if you want to just hit pause and do that okay so I've done my 24 back here just got a slip stitch to join in the top of this first double crochet to complete that round okay so now we're on to the next row of the diamonds so we're not in the middle of where we need to be so we're going to be moving it across because we need to be in the middle here between these two points so to do that it's slip stitch in the next one, chain one. This will make up the last single crochet two together when we finish the round. So next we're going to be doing single crochet in each of these next two. So I'm just going to recap that. So I did a slip stitch in the next one, a chain one and single crochet in each of the next two. And now you can see we're in the middle. So now we can do the treble crochet cluster. So yarn over twice. We're going to be going around this point here. So around the same Bring it through there. Okay, we'll do the next one. It's this point here. Yarn over twice. Hook around the front post again. Let's make that stitch. And there we have a diamond. 
single crochet two together and single crochet in each of the next two and now we're in the middle of this next one we're ready to do our next cluster the first part of the cluster find this next point and there's a the second part you just keep going around like that so you do your cluster then single crochet two together single crochet in each of the next two do the next cluster single crochet two together, single crochet in each of the next two and just repeat that all the way around so if you want to press pause and do that then I'll show you how to finish the round and now I'm ready to do my last cluster so you should be right in the correct position there just going to do this last cluster And then we can find the first single crochet and we just slip stitch to join in the top of there to complete the round. Should look like this. Next we double crochet in each one around. So start by chaining two, double crochet into the next one. Now just count your stitches check you maintain the same number all the way around and then when you finish this row of double crochets just slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet so we're going to start by chaining one and as you can see we're already in the middle here so we're going to start with the cluster this time so yarn over twice Occurring the post of the last one. Do the second part of the cluster. And then complete the cluster. Single crochet in the two together in the next two and single crochet in each of the next two so then next cluster goes here single crochet two together, single crochet in each of the next two so just hit pause and then go all the way around and then I'll show you how to finish this row so when you finish going around um, I've done my last cluster here and I'm gonna do a single crochet two together And then I'm only going to single crochet in this next one since the uh, starting chain one that you did start counts as the other single crochet. So I'll just pop that single crochet in there. And then we slip stitch to join in the top of this first cluster to complete that round. Next is a row of double crochet in each one around. So we just chain two, double crochet in each one around. Just count as you go to check you still got the same number of stitches. Okay, so I've done all my double crochets now. Slip stitch to join in the top of the first one. And now we're ready for the next row of diamonds. So you have to look at where your starting point is. Um, and this time, I'm going to slip stitch in the next one. And then I'm going to do the chain one and single crochet in the next one. And then that gets me into the middle 
between these two points and it just makes things a little easier when I come around to finish that round. So now we do the cluster from this point and this one single crochet two together, single crochet in each of the next two and just repeat that all the way around um, and then I'll show you how to finish the round again. When you've gone all the way around done this last cluster here it's single crochet two together and then just slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet So I'm going to stop here but if you wanted to keep going, say you wanted a long piece, maybe some gloves or something, you would just keep going. So you do a row of double crochet and then a row of the single crochet with the cluster stitches. Please be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to check out my website at crazycabbage.com. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, bye.